When your face gets detected, it always has a priority, metering wise and focus wise. And all of this only works if you have the face tracking active. So this feature is a must have, it needs to be active. There is a reason why I emphasize this because there are scenarios in which you will lose face tracking. For example, if you plug in a- Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose, one day, one step. In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is, well, I will show you my autofocus settings for the Sony a7 III, especially for vlogging and also a bit more. So let's get it. By the way, all the equipment vlogs right here, watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm finally getting into vlogging with the Sony a7 III. I just spent a good hour on researching the best video settings, well, the best settings for a video recording. And I made myself a little list that I will go through. The Sony a7 III has a lot of customizable buttons, but if you use this camera for vlogging, that's not really a big help because you really aren't going to access them anyways. So everything needs to be automated as good as possible. So that's why you definitely need to be on point when it gets to the settings. I can't really show you the settings on the camera because I forgot my phone in the other flat. So genius, but you will definitely be able to, you know, go through the menu by on your own and dial in everything as needed. So in the first menu section on page 5 of 14 you will find the focus mode and this needs to be on continuous autofocus. Well that's a no-brainer and you want the focus area on wide. This is on the same page. So it needs to continuously adjust and we want to use the whole focus area because you know 90% or something like that of the sensor is equipped with focus points. On the next page on 6 of 14 definitely set face priority in autofocus on on. Just change all of them to on. And there is also an autofocus track sensitivity but I think this is only for taking stills uh, for taking pictures so I guess you could leave this on standard just that you know locked on means that it needs a lot of interruption to actually change the focus so if you do stuff with your hands then it won't change but for example if you set it to responsive then it will change immediately so your hands might throw it off or something like that but again this is not for the video on page 9 of 14 we also need to change the metering mode to multi because not only we want to have our face in focus but also correctly exposed for example when there is a, a source a light source back here backlight or i don't know right now it's not tracking my face so it's not exposing my face correctly so that's stupid now it's locked on my face and as you can see it changes immediately it's locked on my face right now Locked on the face, locked on the face. As you can see, it's not adjusting for the light. So change the metering mode to multi and face priority in multimeter on. Then your face will be in focus and exposed correctly. And you don't need to do anything for that. Now on page 14 of 14, on the last page of the first section, there is the face registration. And I would suggest that you take multiple, well, that you register your face multiple times with glasses, without glasses. I registered my face two times with the 50 millimeter lens. I'm currently using a 25 Betis, and I plan on doing two more registrations with this lens as well. I'm not sure if this will help the actual tracking, but I will do it anyways. You have enough registration slots anyways. And the face priority obviously needs to be on on as well. So to recap, continuous autofocus with the wide focus area. Face priority needs to be on every time. Exposure metering on multi and face priority on as I just said. So let's move forward to the second page of the menu. On page two of nine, there is the autofocus drive speed. Now this is fairly vital for a video. Slow means it's a gradual change and fast means it will just update very quickly. So I would suggest the normal speed. Use the slow speed for cinematic focus pulling or just check out this video if you want to know more about that. And the fast drive speed, yeah, just when you want it to be really responsive. And lastly, there is the autofocus track sensitivity. There are only two settings. Now there is the standard setting, which I would suggest for vlogging. And then there is also the responsive setting. And as I said, if you like, cover your face, then it will obviously, well, it will lose the detection and then it will change focus. And if it's responsive, like something like that, might throw it off rather quickly. So it's basically similar to the other autofocus track sensitivity. And all of this only works if you have the face tracking active. So this feature is a must have. It needs to be active, especially for vlogging. And you should also, you know, check from time to time if it's actually detecting your face, because if it's not, then it, it's likely that it will focus on something else. There is a reason why I 
emphasize this because there are scenarios in which the face track you will lose face tracking for example if you plug in a monitor via HDMI out you will lose a face detection feature so do not use a monitor with the Sony a7 III if you want to know more about that check out this vlog it would also be amazing if the eye detection would work in video mode but the face tracking as it is, is pretty awesome because when there is something like in front of your face, usually it would focus on the hand. But because we said the face has a priority, it won't focus on the hand. Now this has pros and cons. The pros are of course if there is like stuff in front of you for a brief amount of time, it will still lock onto your face. But if you want to show something, for example this list, you basically can't do it, you need to move it in front of your face. Now I just lost the tracking right there and now it's in focus. But if there are two subjects in frame and no face detection, then it, I think it will focus on the, on the subject that's closest to the lens. But if there's the, now it just registered my face and now my face got the priority. So that's cool. When your face gets detected, it always has a priority, metering wise and focus wise. Other than that, I would also suggest four more settings for vlogging. First of all, you need a custom white balance. This is especially important when you get to grading, but you need to remember, you always need to remember to dial in the correct white balance because otherwise you will be screwed. You could also go for auto, but it makes grading very difficult because you know it will change and you don't want it to change. Now, the second setting would be the aperture. Obviously go as wide as possible for that sweet blurry background. Thirdly, shutter speed it needs to be twice the frame rate. So I'm currently filming 4K 30 FPS, so the shutter is at 1 16th, 16th, cheese. And lastly, ISO on auto because a bit of convenience is just nice. So these are my settings for vlogging. As you can see, backlight is not affecting the exposure if my face gets tracked so yeah face tracking is a must-have this feature just takes everything to the next level and speaking about next level stuff in one of my next vlogs you can check it out right here i will dive into the picture profiles you know the cinephore stuff all this great stuff for grading oh yeah and i will also get to another test face tracking on versus face tracking off well you already saw it in this vlog it makes a massive difference also why you shouldn't use a monitor for the sony and probably also freaking filters. So yeah, if you want to know more about this on the A7 III, check out my equipment list playlist, but that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button. The way your vlog will get smashed if you lose a face detection. Bang the bell like clap, to never miss equipment vlogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.